First food that I'm eating today, it's two o'clock. I woke up at 12 <laughs> and I could have slept a lot longer. I didn't go to bed till <clears throat> pretty late last night. But uh, the first thing I'm having is the rest of these bean and rice chips. They actually did pretty well on my digestive system. Maybe the probiotics helped. I'm gonna take some enzymes with this. And really I'm just eating these because I'm not ready to make a whole meal yet. I haven't even been up for two full hours yet, so I'm waiting for my system to kind of be ready for food. I've noticed that for me, maybe the reason that I don't love breakfast is that I just don't get that hungry in the morning. You know, the, the term breakfast is break fast, but for me, it kind of continues for hours after I wake up. And energetically, I just don't feel like I need it. I do drink a lot of water when I first wake up, but food, solid food is just not not my thing. Juice I do love. And um, what else was I going to say here? I guess that's it. That I'm eating these chips, getting some work done. Probably going to make some pasta later. <laughs> feeling a little off today, so in an effort to feel better, I'm going to rest. I just cleaned up my place and uh, listened to a really good podcast. I made myself a matcha not quite a latte. I just blended uh, some matcha green tea powder with some quinoa milk and with some barista style coconut milk and some coconut sugar. And it came out pretty well. And then behind me, I'm boiling some pasta. Big surprise, which I'm going to have with the best pasta sauce ever. So I think I'm not quite sure what's going on with me. I don't know. Do you ever feel this way where you just get really moody some days. I'm not sure where I am in my cycle, but uh, that could always be it. I also take these um, mood, herbal mood supplements when I feel this way. It's by Eastern Botanicals. I haven't seen it make a massive difference, but maybe it's just because it's not like an instant thing right here. This is just has some herbs in it that can help uh, with um, emotional and physical stress factors such as sadness and worry and it's designed to promote happiness and tranquility so maybe it's like a hope of a placebo effect at least but it makes me feel better to know I did something I would love to know what your routine is are there certain things that you eat or do when you're feeling really moody and you're not sure why what makes you feel your best let me know in the comment below <laughs> My last little food adventure for the night is going to be some mango, which I have in my cup here, so I can bring it with me outside of the kitchen. And uh, today, aside from what you saw, I had a few handfuls of the chocolate chips just because I wanted a little bit of chocolate in my life. And I had some more of the hemp seeds that I showed you. And then I had some leftover pasta. Super basic. It was really nice and my body feels great. I don't know if it's because I've been eating so simply and because I've been working out or perhaps it's helping that I'm taking um, the enzymes on a regular basis and the probiotics. I was reading up tonight on leaky gut and I'm really starting to think that I have that but I'm not going to jump to any conclusions until I can speak to a professional about it but I meet a lot of the symptoms. So one of the big recommendations for healing leaky gut is to take digestive enzymes and probiotics. So that's a motivation for me for taking them on a regular basis. I'm also doing a lot of the things that they've recommended such as cutting out dairy, which I did years ago, and gluten, corn, soy. It's really making sense that I'm sensitive to all those different things. I haven't taken um, antibiotics in a long time. I, I think maybe the last time I took them might have been like three years ago when I had a little medical issue that needed to be cleared up. So I'm just kind of wondering if, if that's going on with me and my body right now. And uh, I'm looking forward to going to see a doctor about that at some point. And if any of you can relate to that, I know a lot of people have leaky gut and it's kind of crazy how much of an epidemic it's become because of the poor eating choices that we make 
and uh, because of all these drugs that people take and, and uh, not loading up on all the nutrients that we need and probiotics and our bodies are just so thrown off. So you know why that's a huge part of my mission and I'm trying to live it and experience it and share it with you. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to read your comments. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. If this is your first time watching the channel, I hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. You can find me on the main Eco Vegan Gal channel, as well as the Uncensored channel and the Venture channel. All those links are right down below. And I will see you tomorrow with another food journal. Bye.